Okay, what we're gonna do now today is, as you see, we went ahead and put the base coat on, the top coat on top, and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and use the plus three mud to fill it in. I do not use knives. I use a, it's about a 18 inch flat cement trowel. I find that's a lot better because what I have is I have a stiffening back on there and with the knife, if you push hard enough, you're going to have a concave type of pattern that goes across here. Whereas with this knife, you do not. What you do with this knife or this trowel is you can gauge it. And once again, that's the nice thing about a hawk. It's flat, so you can get access to wherever you want to work this trowel. And so what I do is I'll just typically grab that. That's roughly about a 10 inch uh, knife. And it doesn't matter if you start at the top or the bottom, and you just start putting the mud on. And just one more thought, that's the nice thing about making sure your mud's the right consistency, because you can hold it, it's not going to fall off, it's not going to slip. And so as we go ahead and start, we can start smoothing this out. Okay, now that we've got the mud on there, you go ahead and just like your knife, you want pressure on the outside and you just sort of push the trowel so the nose is tighter out here. You've got more pressure on the outside than you do here. And you just go ahead and run that up at the wall. And you see this right here, with, the out, with this, just grab yourself a little bit of mud and just sort of run it across and you can get that on your trowel, just push it up in, and it fills that in very nicely. Now that we've got the mud on, we, maybe I don't think you can see this on the camera, but you have some indentations here where it's a little low. Just add a little bit of mud, not a big deal, it's not be pretty. Just add that in. So now we've got enough mud, we're gonna go back through and smooth it. The secret is, don't hold your trowel like this when you're working it, Keep that trowel as flat to the surface as possible, and you'll see yourself come up with a very smooth finish. And you have to do it a couple of times to get the mud worked out. Once again, pressure on the outside. So I'm twisting my wrist to put pressure on the outside, which will go ahead and smooth and feather that outside edge. And this is to coming together very nice. Okay, we've got a little indentation here. A little bit of mud. And if you start leaving straight, a lot of times it'll leave, just come across the sheetrock by leaving any residue. That cleans it up and squares your edges off again. So you get a nice smooth finish when you're done. You're gonna drag them out there. Okay, a little drag mark there. Let's just go back through once more. Keep the trowel as flat as possible. We've got garbage in there. Just a little piece of uh, hardened mud it creates lines. So to stop that, I just give myself a little dab. I go back through. Voila. 18 inch trowel with your hawk and it's plus three mud. Okay, if you remember, we went ahead and put a second coat on this. It's shrunk, and we're gonna go ahead and put the final coat on tonight. But remember, always clean off your excess mud, and I just typically run my trowel back with the cross -up. I'll go ahead and smooth everything up. It's going to be hitting my trowel and we're ready to put some mud on. And also as your mud starts running, if you're using a hop, you can go ahead. You want to sort of spread that across because if you do, if you can, just sort of cut your mud with your knife and that spreads it across and you can pull it down.
And when you do this big 18 inch feather, it takes quite a bit of mud. Okay, pressure out here on this outside, so we can feather it. You see, there you go. By planning and doing your bands first, you have very little sanding that's gonna take place across that band. Keep your trowel as close as possible. Okay, this is your bull nose trowel. It's a little tool that cleans up your bull nose. So you don't have a lot of excess overhanging. Basically you come in at a 90 degree angle and just hold that nose just barely off of this edge so you don't dig into it. That cleans it up nice and pretty and there you go, it's done. Ready to sand a little bit and paint.